Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. Oh, it's a very beautiful Friday morning out. I have been up since way earlier than I wanted to be, but that's because I had to schedule a call at 8.30, and then I had another one at 10. It went really well because one of the higher ups for the major client that we had joined my calls and immediately sent praise to my boss after the call. The first one and then after the second call sent an email out including my boss to all of his people basically praising me for the calls that i had so yay i'll take that as a win now what i'm doing is finishing up the last of my day job work that i plan on doing today so i have a few things that i got to do and that's it i'm done for today because i'm not doing jack shit after that for day job then i'm going to go out and do my own personal shit now I've been bitching and moaning about how freaking hot it is in here. Now the temperature has gone down considerably. Uh, I don't know actually what it is right now, but it definitely isn't as hot as it has been because by now, and it's 11, a little bit after 11 o'clock, it would have already been hot as balls in here. And I haven't turned a single fan on or, or done anything. And I have my blinds open because it wasn't all that sunny this morning. So all is well. I am going to go to Lowe's slash Home Depot and I'm going to get a vent fan. So basically, you know how you have the vents in your ceiling or your floor or wherever. All you got to do is just measure the hole to see how big it is. And then you get a replacement for that vent, which basically, you know, you just open it up and it has grates on it. So you can kind of direct the air. What this vent fan thing does is that you put it up there and it actually turns on and actively acts as a fan so that it sucks more cold air through the vent and blows it into your room. Now, the reason that I hope that that'll work for me is because that vent that's right there above the window is the furthest vent away from the actual HVAC that's up in my attic. So if I put one there and I even put one over there on that side of the room, it should draw more air because by the time the air gets here, and what was happening before I had that entire line replaced, apparently it was old and very small and it wasn't insulated very well because when this place was built, the code was different. So when I had my guy cut the other vent in and put the intake in, he also changed that line and made it a bigger duct and also more insulated. So that way, when it's 160 up in the attic, it isn't heating that air up because that's what was happening is that by the time the air got from the HVAC all the way to this side of the house, it had gotten heated up and what was coming through just wasn't that cold. Now it's cold, but not that much is coming through because again, it has to blow through the entire house and this one is the furthest away. So my buddy actually suggested that and I had looked at those before and I had looked it into cutting a freaking uh, like a fan into the spot above my door to try to suck in more cold air from that part of the house. Because like I said, once I go through the threshold of this room, it gets hot as balls. I think the best thing right now and the least expensive is for me to try to get that vent fan up there into that vent to draw more cold air. And let's hope that works. Enough about me whining about the, the freaking hot in this room because it's always hot in this room. So I'm gonna take care of that. Now I'll also today, uh, well, tonight is the night market. So I'm gonna be filming that. Hopefully that will go in tomorrow's video because by the time we go to that, it's gonna be too late and I'm gonna have to have already posted my video. So we'll do what we gotta do today. So for now, let's finish up the day job work. I'm sitting in the Forerunner. I have the A7 IV hooked up with the 35 G Master. So you can see it does not show nearly as much as the 14 millimeter G Master. So I'm not gonna keep filming in here. Plus it's as usual, it's hot as balls. It's really hot up there and on the dash and the camera's in the direct sunlight. Now I cut that part out the other day, but for the first time ever, the camera shut off from the heat. And that was because it was sitting in the direct sunlight and all that metal shit that I had it attached to was like literally burning to the touch. So it heated up and it shut off. First time it's ever done that. First time any camera's ever really done that. So I knew that I couldn't be shooting in here unless I had been going for a while and the AC was going and it was nice and cool in here. But since I just got in here, again, hot as balls. So I'm gonna head to Lowe's. I'm gonna buy that vent fan thingy and see what I can come up with. I'm excited that I've got my weekend now and I don't have anything looming over my head that has to be done. So let's go shopping. Okay, kids, big change of plans. 
I went to Lowe's. They didn't have those vents. You had to order them. Dumb monkey didn't look at that. In the meantime, I got a new camera. <laughs> not what you're thinking though. Not, not that kind of camera. I love the cameras that I have. There's no need for me to sell them or get more. <laughs> okay, so what I got was a, like almost like a security camera. I have an Arlo system throughout my, uh, my house, inside and out. And those Arlo cameras suck. I can go into the app and I can check them. So then I decided that I'm an Apple fanboy, so I wanted to get everything that's HomeKit compatible. They're compatible enough that I can open up the HomeKit thing, the Apple Home, whatever the hell you call it, and it'll show me the cameras. Now, here's the big problem. In the comfort of my own fortress bedroom, I can look down and I can see who's in here, what they're doing, and if I feel kind, I can give them a warning that they have 10 seconds to get the hell out of my house before I come down there and like dissolve them in acid. But the problem with the cameras is that if they turn on, there is such a gigantic lag that they could basically come up, throw me down on the bed and boofoo me and leave before the camera would even detect that there was any kind of movement. There was such a lag. I mean, like 10 seconds to two minutes. I mean, it was ridiculous. So I'm slowly but surely replacing all those. So I got this like circle view Logitech camera in the mail today. It finally showed up and the whole thing about it was that you can put it somewhere, plug it in. You don't have to have an app. You don't have to connect to it and do all this weird shit. It doesn't have to wiredly connect in anything. You plug it in and the home, Apple home kit, whatever the home detects it. You scan the QR code and it's done. You're in and you can see it. Now, here's what happened. I got the camera. I took it out. I plugged it in. I stuck it up there above the TV scanned the QR code, selected my options, and the damn thing turned on and is recording with no lag. Like if I go like this, I see it through the camera on the freaking home app. Now, because it's even wider angle than the Arlo camera, I can see all the way from that wall. So I can see every window all the way across the entire expanse of the room. In addition to the freaking cat tree that right there, the cat tree behind me so that I can see when I check the cameras, if the cat's in his tree or if he's around. Covers all the doors, windows, and everything. I can hear, you know, like I was sitting here watching King of the Hill and I could hear King of the Hill in real time. And then you can actually turn it on and talk to it two way. And I started speaking and my voice came through the freaking camera. Here's the thing, Arlo cameras suck. If you're gonna use them to depend on your life, to get actual no lag real time information, you're as good as dead if somebody breaks into your house because by the time the camera shows you through the app that someone's here, they're already gonna be upstairs and knifing you. I do not recommend the Arlo cameras. I'm slowly but surely going to replace them with this Logitech stuff because holy shit, I mean, it works right out of the box. Just like they said, monkey seal of approval. In fact, two thumbs up because the shit works. Like I said, I'm gonna start replacing these cameras. So if you wanna start sending me money so that I can pay for all these freaking cameras, feel free to do that. So that's all you're gonna get for today because I wanna edit this over before she gets home so that I don't have to dick around with it and I can go to the night market and not have to worry about coming back and trying to post a video at 11 o'clock. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.